everybody welcome back to the video on my youtube channel i'm nicholas and today we are back with another video as part of my nct november one week ago on monday we will kick things off on november 1st with my first time react to nct dream and then last first with my first of free catching up on videos for nctu today we are here with my first catching up on for the month for this sub unit and my second one overall today we're here with catching up on nct127 and like mentioned, I already did a catching up on, on them a few months ago. I think two, uh, to be exact, where we checked out the day before the drunk, the most musically the Cherry Bomb, Simon Says, and Kick It. That are my um four Entity to some music videos that I checked out back then. Otherwise, I've already checked out Sticker and Favorite from earlier this year. And Entity to 7 at least from what I've seen now thus far, obviously because I've seen the most from them thus far, without a single doubt problem, my favorite subunit at the moment. And uh, yeah, we got uh, four music videos to check out today as well. And... First things first, as as usual with NCT, there is something special, not just very unique and special for the sound, but for how things were back then as well. Because let's go for this. We checked out Fire Truck already, and then we had the original lineup for NCT 1 to 7 with Tail, Taeyong, Mark, Yuta, Jayun, Hei Chen, and Win Win. Funnily enough, a few weeks earlier, or like a few months earlier, they had the OG5 for NCT U, which featured Dujon. But for whatever reason, Dujon was not part of that original NCT 127 lineup. Now we are here with the first NCT 127 comeback after the debut firetruck, which is Limitless. And there we got Dujon and Johnny added to it. Why wasn't Johnny there at, at the beginning? He was there since the beginning. He's part of the first NCT song overall. Why wasn't he already part of NCT 127? What else did he do? He wasn't part of NCT Dream either, so... Did he have a hiatus or something? I don't know, but that's a bit weird. But yeah, now we are here with nine members overall. They added Dujon and Johnny to the lineup here for the first comic in 2017. So let's check out the first of the four we have today. Overall, we have first of all Limitless. Then we got Touch, Chain, and Regular. We're going to check out the English version later. But now we're focusing on Limitless. Their first comic after Firetruck on January 4th, 2017. And for whatever reason, this has like three different videos, I think... Three different performance rooms and whatnot. I'm going for the one that has the most views, the one with 50 million views or so. So, NCT127, Limitless, their first comeback overall. Let's check it out. <sighs> More NCT songs. I'm I'm so ready, y'all. The NCT of MR has been a blast already, and we're just getting started. Let's go. Oh. Blonde hair? Oh man, I barely recognize him. Video, but it looks great nonetheless. Oh, this is very. Is this already like a bridge? Did we then get the second chorus? Oh. 
Jin or Jisoo with Banks? Jung? Wait, is that it? Well, I have to the entire show every day, but... What a bridge! Yo, this chorus is incredible. Oh, I want an outro too! Oh! Ooh! Oh, man! Okay, that was a very different NCT song. A very different one. Like, Fire Truck was already a very crazy debut, or like a very unregular debut, but Limitless goes into a direction that, um, at le let's say it like this. When we look at the typical NC127 title track weirdness scale, then this is actually. This feels rather normal, you know? This feels really more like a typical song. The only thing that's kind of weird or is like really standing out of the song is when Taeyong did this thingy there for the first two verses. That was pretty damn cool. I think that's probably, once again, the one of these things that some people may not like. I liked it and I like this thing overall a lot. Limitless's chorus is insane. And when I look at all the other entity choruses I've seen thus far, generally, big fan of the choruses. Whatever it was, Fire Truck, which was good, the Cherry Bomb one was a bit um, too drowned from the rest because it didn't stand out as much. Summon Sass was insane, Kick It Chorus was insane, so was Sticker and, and Favorite. But Limitless may be on the scale of like, it's probably the most harmonizing one. It's such a great melody and it's such a lengthy chorus too. Da, na, 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 na. That sounds so good, and like mentioned, I've, I'm not sure about the line distribution here. I'm not sure about like mentioned, especially with the very young looks. You know, more used to the sales from nowadays. So naming everybody by name is still not that easy for me, obviously. But um, Tae Young had a lot of lines on this, and he owned them. Che Yoon had a lot going on as well, and generally, it, it all it all flourishes so well together. The middle thing is a bit weird at first because I'm like expecting the second chorus to drop in, but it's like a very lengthy second pre-chorus or like a extra lengthy second verse in there till you get to that um, second chorus because it sounds over 4 minutes too. But like, damn, this chorus, I gotta listen to the chorus. Yeah, yeah, oh, baby, Then it continues! What a length of chorus! How long was that? What that was was that a freaking minute? No, but like 45 seconds, and that's insane. That was a 45 second long chorus. You know, and the thing is usually a t very typical length for like verses or like uh, for pre-choruses and choruses or like two split choruses is like 15 seconds to 30 seconds. 15 seconds is a very typical length for that. I mean, that's why the white, that's why the Instagram um, filter has 15 seconds because usually specific highlight points, whatever in the chorus or the pre-chorus are 15 seconds long or a verse in between. You can notice that here and there. And so usually 30 seconds is already long for a pre-chorus. Here it's freaking 45. There are 45 seconds between the pre-chorus and the second verse, which then also goes very lengthy. Man, that is an insanely full song. There's so much in the song. Oh. 
And the verse or banging too. I like this doom, 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 doom bass sounds great. The uh, 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 flows great. Back with these long jack birds. Yeah. Oh, also the styling and the outfits too, man. Wait, is that is that Mark too? Did Mark have like two different headsets in this? Man, th these stylings were, were were crazy. That's like some classic hip hop looks, but it doesn't really feel like a classic hip hop song. If you know the drum set, may go into that direction. But Limitless has so much to it. The verses can actually be ready, chill, and soothing from the vocal picture. The chorus is insanely full. But yeah, we are at one minute between the first chorus and the second chorus. The first chorus ends at 126, the second chorus starts at 226. There's a minute between that. That's crazy. The second chorus kicks in where usually many songs kick in the bridge. Or actually already go into the third chorus, you know. Like 226, there are songs that end there already. There are songs that that just go to the finish line there. Here, it, it just starts in with the second chorus until we then get into a very great bridge too. Oh man. Ain't City 1 to 7 Limitless. This is without a single doubt from the first listen on. Who is he though? Is it Win-Win? Is it Win-Win or is it maybe Utah? I'm not sure, but this look kind of reminds me of... I can't think of his name right now, but from the Big Bang Bay Bay video, or like from Big from from Bang 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 Two, also was also someone that you could barely see the eyes. It reminded me a bit of that, but the styling, the oh no, that wasn't Mark. Oh my God, these these looks, man, they had so many different styles over the years. It's it's impossible if you're not been there since so the start to tell everybody part straight away. But either way, NCT One to Seven Limitless, without a single doubt, one of the most full NCT songs I've listened to thus far. A very full chorus, I mean 45 seconds, that's insane. A great bridge, the verses were awesome too. Love the style, love the sound picture they chose here. NC1 to 7 Limitless is definitely a song that I very much enjoyed throughout the first season. And I think, like many, many other NCT songs, will even grow further on me after several releases. That's the thing for NCT for me. The first seasons are already, I'm digging this, I'm enjoying this, and it will just get better the more I listen to it. There are growing songs, but not in the sense of it's it sucks at first. No, they're straight away great, but become addicting down the road. And I think Limitless can definitely be that. Okay, and so you want to send Limitless? That was already a lot of fun. Let's move on to our next song, which is Touch, which came out on March 13th, uh, 2018. Because in between they had Cherry Bomb, which I had already checked out, so there was a around five month break between um limitless and cherry bomb and now we're here with touch for um 2018 i think this was also part of the first nct together album thing i think nct you boss came in between that too which we'll be having next week as well so we can look forward to that but for now we are going to be checking out the next of the uh, music videos for today's catching up on nct 107 and city 1 to 7 touch check it out <laughs> Oh, that is unexpectedly bright. Taeyong. Is that soft concept NCT 17? I'm, I'm not used to see him that cute. I, I can only, when it's the day, you know, think of Bad Boy and not that. <laughs> That is definitely a switch of concept. Art? What a bright visual too, especially after Limitless. Hey Jen! Oh. Is that win win? I think that's win win, right? Down back at it. Taeyong and Mark together. That 
That is a very untypical NCT 127 music video. Or at least choice for a music video song. But I'm digging the pacing, I'm digging the energy. I'm smiling because I'm not used to this from NCT Time Tracks. Chen Cheyun, Jung. I think I'm actually confusing Taylor and Jung the entire time. I'm not sure about. <laughs> I'm not used to this. Damn! Also, that I hate this feature so much because otherwise I could have again looked who is who. But I, YouTube, why is this feature a thing? Oh my goodness, it's it's so it, it sucks so hard actually. Like ah, but um. Anyways, I did not expect that. NC one to seven touch. That is um by far from what I've seen thus far the most. Chill slash bright slash playful um NC127 tiles jack. I think NCD Dream would definitely go into such a ratio too from what I've read from the comments under my first time reacting to them. But like when I look at Kick It, Summon Says, Sticker, Favorite, and before that already Fire Truck, Cherry Bomb, and Limitless, uh, Fire Truck, Limitless, and Cherry Bomb, then this is definitely a very unexpected music video. Because from what I've seen from the B-sets thus far already, it's not like N127 only does the bad boy heavy type of sound. No, they also go for very chill and very playful and very yowful type of songs. You know, that's nothing new. But um, it's... What the fuck? Would... What the fuck? What? Why does Steam just open? Okay, but anyways. um, Interesting choice for a music video. Like mentioned, I think this was part of the NCT... You empathy album or like NCT empathy album which featured you dream and what to okay this is what what the fuck is going on here I mean <laughs> I mean I'm getting invaded here I'm doing these in one take you no know, like mentioned to to um avoid the, the the length of the editing and whatnot and boom <laughs> what the hell is going on here? but let's not get um let's not get uh, confused by that yeah I think this was part of the Empathy album, and I guess that's why they went for that. Because they thought, like, you know what, it's part of this album anyways. It's more of a B-side anyways than a title track, so let's just go for that. I mean, the music video was also rather lighthearted, you know? It wasn't your big, explosive type of um, production like Cherry Bomb was, or like, um, later on, you know, you know, Summon Sass or Kick It would be. So this was a rather chill and simple music video itself. And a very bright, yowful, and playful song and music video itself, too. The song itself actually had quite an energetic and great um, instrumental. You know, the pacing was good. I really, really enjoyed the drums. It made it very good to move itself, too. It was basically a very funky dance track, you know? It's not your your pop and um, party type of dance track, like Fire Truck. It's your just just have a fun time like of dance track and they suit that style a lot you know we had it with super m's we do too where Young and mark were included which i have not been able to put out yet to do copyright reasons but i dig this concept on them actually like mentioned i'm not used to especially seeing jay hoon like that i mentioned it before in my interview reaction last week when it when when jay hoon has the hair up he looks like an absolute bad boy as soon as he puts it down in banks he looks like the most handsome cute person in the world honestly so Definitely a very different choice of concept and, and look, especially. The song itself, obviously, there wasn't a moment in between that really made me go war as top, as to, you know, as like the song itself. But like, um, altogether, it's a great song, you know. There's no big highlight moment in between because it, it doesn't need to be. It's a very quick, fun, lighthearted three minute song that's really just there to, to sound good, to have a fun time with. I think they definitely achieved that. 
NC217 Touch music video. Had a lot of fun with enjoyed a lot. Let's move on to our first one for today, which is Chain. That came out on May 8th, 2018. So less than two months after that. Like mentioned, Touch was part of the Empathy album. So um, my guess is that Chain was now their actual comeback. Their actual first comeback within 2018 after having um, Limitless and Cherry Bomb for 2017. So let's check this out. NC217 Chain music video oh actually never mind it was the japanese debut i'll remember that was the japanese debut chain their first japanese music video think gimme gimme which came out earlier this which was the first time listening to one to seven was the second one so they had their they had the japanese debut to 18 then it took them three years to go for another one all right it's m but okay I remember that was the Japanese debut. So Ancient World 7 chain music video, the Japanese debut around two months after this. Let's check it out. Straight into it. Whoa. Whoa. Ah, I like that chain reaction. Mark. Oh. What a marvelous that was. They are. Oh! That is already a big thing. That is already a big thing. Ooh. Mark and Taeyong all over this. Ah, from Seoul to Tokyo, I see. Are you ready to go? Yeah, there is no fear. Yeah, there is no fear. Yeah, mother, that took my breath away for a moment. I did not expect that. Oh, what a smooth transition to the bridge. This chain reaction, oh my god! This beat though, my goodness! Oh my god. I mean, what? 
yo, that is, I mean, like mentioned, it took them three years till they got to the next Japanese comic with Gimme Gimme, which I didn't mention yet was actually long on my on my loop plays because at the start of the year I had not that many songs in my playlist yet and I was addicted to that song. Gimme Gimme was such exactly my vibe, you know, very hard hitting, very aggressive, with still some great vocals here and there. That was a great song and the first Japanese music video was also Oh my goodness. There was especially after Touch, like mentioned, less than two months after Touch, which was by far from what I've seen now music video wise, softest, light hardest, brightest tone and concept, we go boom into this. With the with the machinery stuff, with the um you know, stuff from work and other kind of things, you know, with the drill and with the flame thing and whatnot. That was cool visually already. But I mean, sound wise, chain reaction. Oh, that, that are these very simple English bits within songs and choruses that are so easy to go along with and would be so catchy to do. Oh my goodness, like I can already see myself go chain reaction here and there throughout the day. That's already like boom. I noticed though that definitely um, the trio of Jaehyun, Mark and Jeong definitely had the most lines here. I generally know, thought that I think that Win Win especially was very very little featured within that and I mean it's a nine member group so it's always difficult but these three always take the lead role and I personally don't mind that because this trio is just insane. And the way this kicked off already was crazy. The beat with this type of sound which like smashing like some type of metal against different metal type of thingy there there was a great sound effect it just added to the aggression and the power of the song you know it went straight into it the ad lifts then more kicks in hard every time this match starts to rap it's a damn highlight Effective. Oh. Effective. Oh. Effective. Electric. Oh. Tail follows good too, but what we, what I definitely gotta check out again is the second we get to the moment. This chorus is very loud. It has a lot going on. Many, many elements. Many sounds. What is start of the song? The song is around 4 minutes long, the first minute and 23 seconds, which are the insane opening, the insane verse by Mark, the great pre chorus, and the great chorus itself, which is very full, very electric, has a lot going on. Boom, into great change in verse. And he like mentioned this from the old Tokyo thingy for the music, for the music videos, this makes sense, you know? Yeah, but this, uh, that's both Tail and Jijun, but they like look so, at least here they look so alike to me, I don't know why. I don't know why, it's it's still so difficult for me, you know? It's like, especially with NCT when there are like over 20, 20 people at once, oh my goodness. Don't they have like for the 2020 Resonance singer, like everybody there? Oh my goodness, <laughs> that's going to be my homework, to be able to, when we get to that point at the end of the month, to be able to, when they all line up there from left to right, be able to, that's that and that, that's him and that's him, oh god, that's going to be my, that's going to be my, my task until the end of the month to the 30th, but I already know that I will fail because I'm already struggling here, but anyways. Morph back into it, but... Morph Jayen is going hard and then... Are you ready to go? Yeah, there is no fear. Yeah, there is no fear. What business did you have, my man? Who who challenged you? Who? What? <laughs> I I mean, his verse in Gimme Gimme was already crazy. Guess when it's time for Japanese releases? They're like, Taeyong, come on, put out the double tap. What the? That was one of the hardest Taeyong reps for sure. I mean, oh my goodness. Oh, 
This man just managed to make a highlight section in anything NCT I've heard this for within 7 seconds. 7. He only needed 7 seconds to put out a, a flow and verse here. That I will remember for a long time. And then whenever someone asks me, yo, what are, what are the hardest rap verses in Cable? What is one of your favorite bits in an NTC song? What is one of your favorite parts of an NTC song in the entire discography? Boom! These seven seconds of, of Taeyong here are, especially for my rap heart. God damn. <laughs> what business did he have here? Who, who asked him? I mean... And then the blub of <laughs> that young man. Like I remember when I thought when I, I think it was just last week and in my Tiger Inside reaction too, where I talked about best male rappers in K-pop and I mentioned Marco was like, I gotta mention Tae Young too, honestly. And I mean to have this, these two in your in your rap lineup in the, one of the same group, even in the same company already, is is. Mark and Taeyong together is a rap duo that just, it just owns the majority of K-pop. I mean, wow, that Taeyong verse was insanity, and it's just seven seconds long. That's like I wouldn't even say it's like you know that fast. I think it can go even faster, maybe you know. Or just generally, you probably heard faster before, but that was that came so out of nowhere, so explosive, so much energy, so much stuffed into a seven second moment. There, it's crazy. Wow. And like mentioned, the rest of the song also sounds good. The bridge is once again on point. There with the vocal part of this of the units of the unit can then shine a little bit back into the chorus with the chain reaction. Ooh, Japanese NCT releases are a damn threat. I mean. I mean, I love the style of the music video too. It was once again not that big budget like some you'd see about Super Ambuso, but like the locations look good, the outfits look great. Love the styling. Awesome. Awesome music video. Heavy hitting song, especially after touch. Oh my. 81 to 7 Shay music video. Their Japanese debut. That was a freaking banger. That Young. Sequence is going to be is going to uh, will have me in shambles for a moment or a while. Wow, crazy, absolutely insane. Answered what seven shame music video. Probably my favorite of four from today. That 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 absolutely got me. Had a lot of fun for the show. A lot. Let's move on to our final song for today, and that is Entity One to Seven's regular and. Like mentioned, this way you look at it, Limitless had like three to four different versions. Touch was then part of the Empathy album chain was a Japanese debut, and then came Regular, which is part of the which came alongside Summon Test. First regular, I think after that came Summon Test for the I think first album, yeah. The second album was then into 20 with with Kick It. So then for the end of the year after this this opening with Touch and Chain, we got into Regular, which had first an English version released. But then afterwards, a Korean one, like three days later or so. And I think when we check out VV later this week, I think they also have the same song, but in Chinese. <sighs> I don't know what it, what what SM, it, 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 what type of drugs they sometimes do when they think of how they release the songs. But either way, we're checking out the English version because it came first. It has more views too. So we're checking out the English version instead of anything else. And here we got Jungwoo actually. That's where uh, Jungwoo got added to the mix, and here we are now with NCT127 with 10 members. I think Simon says also 10, but I think after that, um, because then Wei V debuted a thing after that, that was uh, like that, plus Simon says was the first and last uh, NCT127 music video with only 10 members. I think after that, Win Win left for Wei V. But either way, final music video of today is catching up on NCT127. Regular English version. Let's check it out. Oh. 
What a mark flow already. What a tail on flow already. Oh. Diamond stupid, bring your raincoat. <laughs> Oh my god! This is already one of the best. Already! And we're already. Oh, what a visual here! Looking like a fashion show. Looking like a water show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What a flex! My bank account go. We make the work go. And the way they just casually walk around with that tiger. Oh! <laughs> Mark and Tae Young, man. I can't with these two. Let's not let the rest make the vocal part of the song. They have me back to back in shambles. Oh my. <laughs> How often have I done this sound today? <laughs> because I'm just. I can't! Oh my. <laughs> I literally can't, yo. What the F is going on today? Like, Limitless was already a great start today. And I, I will say it like this having lyrics here available for this one, being able to understand what they're saying is obviously a plus. Because that way, the lyrics really add to the factor here, you know. But like, Limitless was a really good start today, with an insane chorus, you know. Church was saying, you know, just, just a very fun song, but you know, nothing too crazy. Chain then already punched me, but this is the left-right combo into the face. I mean, oh my goodness, this song is... I mean, <laughs> I just watched it and stopped in between. I mean, I love this beat. Yeah, yeah. I like shining, you be mine. I be grinding, you waste time. No, you won't roll with me. Cause you know I put it down. 
this is the second time I'm, I'm starting to listen to this. And when I get the lyrics up already, I already want to go ahead and rap and sing a lot. This song is so well written. The lyrics are so on point, you know? Like, obviously, what the, the core of the lyrics is basically just their flexing. There, there's no deeper meaning to it, you know? It doesn't need to be. It doesn't need to be any any big meanings or anything like that. These lyrics are, like mentioned, when, when they are in English, it's obviously for me as even not a native English speaker, way easier because I actually can sing and rap along and I actually know what's being said straight away. And this song, from the moment it started and now after the first listen already, I just know, oh my god, I want to put this on loop and just rap and sing along with it, you know? That's one of my favorite things in the world to do. That's one of the key things of a song to, to really get me and to become one of my favorites. If it sounds good and all that kind of stuff, great. But if it gets me the sing-along value, where I can just sit here, play video games, or just edit stuff, or just write down stuff or whatnot, and I can sing and rap along to it, then that's that's the greatest thing in the world, seriously. That's, not, that's the best thing about music, singing and rapping along. And alone, this flow here at the beginning from Mark is already just... Love to slightly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. This uh, do reminds me a bit of um, Hot Sauce went to a similar direction with slight Latin influence, a little bit. Not really that big, but it definitely goes into that direction. This dude, like it at least sounds a bit like that. But I mean, this opening alone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like shutting you be blind. You be running, you waste time. You be gonna roll with me. But you know it, put it down. Oh! I'm the one and only one. Oh. Yeah, pull up in the air. Hey, this bad is vision with the chest walking around with the tiger too. Diamonds to rip and bring your raincoat. Oh my god! The only thing I probably say is they should have went for a quarter rhyme here instead of the dripping like a waterfall set. Maybe that would grow me, but like the zone cold, cold. Oh my goodness! That on re listens is going to be addicting to go along with. Addicting, I'm telling you. Like, it's so simple, but it sounds so good. Just a long, dragged O syllable. Oh, 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 it sounds so good. Like, mentioned when you do it for the fourth time, maybe even better. But, like, actually, can't think of a fourth round right now for cold zone and whatnot. Maybe low or um, gonna catch a cold. Da -da 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 cold. Yeah, we run the show. -da 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 -da. Maybe something like that, but that's nitpicking. That still sounds absolutely insane. The first minute of the song already is absolutely mental. The intro bit is sick. I love intro bits. It puts you in the mood. It doesn't start right away. Mox versus fire. Tail versus fire. Jayun's versus fire. Then the rest comes in two. Then it's insane pre chorus. And then. Splash! <laughs> I don't need no light to shine I can barely see the time I stout both my wrists I can barely see the time Ah! I'm still not satisfied Cause I need the back on the regular I need the back on the regular Oh! Oh, that's actually, aren't that, um, yeah, yeah, Dinero, Peso, Yen, Quiero, that are like different, um, you know, like Euro and Dollar and whatnot. What, a, again, around 30 seconds long chorus, no, actually 20 seconds, I'm done, but, oh my goodness. Everything up until this point is already insanity. I mean, the intro, the, the verse, the pre-chorus, the chorus itself, that chorus is a freaking... <laughs> That's Johnny here. Oh 
what a tea young flow here too but you bought on roots and blue and the, 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 the location here too in this Las Vegas type of with the, all the um play automats oh my goodness we never lose but it's all good then H A comes in, looking like a fashion show. Looking like a fashion show. The flow, man. Dupa, dupa, na 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 na. This is so sick! This is one of the best. This is one of the best. This is one of their best. And then multicolored diamonds like a rainbow. Oh, <laughs> oh what the fuck? This song. We already hear it around three minutes again, you know. The first part of the song was insane. The second verse was insane. Then, like, you know, intro was sick. Both verses were sick. Pre-course chorus, obviously, incredible. And then we get into this bridge, which is led by Mark Taylor. Just off the chain where I said these two are easily one of the best, easily the best rap duo in K-pop, you know. I mentioned all the time, when I think about the best male rappers, I think of Bobby of Icon. Then when I think about other dudes, it's the one from ATs. It's the one from Stray Kids, you know. Han and um Han and Changbin and I can't think of the names from the ATs boys right now. But then obviously them too. Because oh, this is so bad. It's like yeah. What's the color? Diamonds like the rainbow. rainbow. Yeah. They have some Korean in here. Surprise, it's all right. I can't wait to watch reactions to this. I Then the Volgut's coming in here. I just can't stop smiling because the song is so sick, y'all. Hey, young, even we use golden shoes. <laughs> and I, I don't even want to bother with that because I can't do that. But <laughs> we're closing in under 50 minutes here, and I'm totally fine with that because it just look at my face. I'm so red all over it because I'm just like, ah. Like mentioned, there's a Korean version for this too, but I honestly think in one hit, even half as hard simply because you know it's just easier for me to sing along with and actually understanding straight away what's being said just makes it so much more bad it's just so much more cool i don't know we all love korean we all love the way korean sounds and it often makes especially rather silly lyrics sound good you know or like that's the good thing about k-pop when I, a good example is everglow for me recently i noticed that you know the lyrics don't really say a lot or just aren't that there doesn't need to be big meaning in sounds and I, I don't never think that is as long as it sounds good but korean K-pop songs or K-pop songs in general just make it easy to hide the fact that the lyrics don't say a lot simply because you don't understand it anyways. And we then have to, that's why especially weak English songs just are unlistenable to me because you just understand straight away what's being said and it's then uh sucks a little bit. But this is in fully English and every line is a freaking hit. It's so over the top, it's so much of a flex, it's <laughs> This is one of the best one of to one hundred percent. Oh my goodness. NCT127 regular. That thing is a freaking banger. The the lyrics, the the, the sass, the attitude of it, you know, it doesn't even go hard. It doesn't even go hard in the sense of, you know, from the beat and the attitude and the lyrics, it's not even as hard as Chain or Kick It or Gimme Gimme. 
It's really more in this lean back, I talk down on you attitude that makes it go so hard. It's such a, it's such a, it taking type of beat with the slight Latin influence, like mentioned at least from the drum set, and the way they flex and flow over that. Wow, what a way to wrap this up! Seriously, it's become a trend that the last song of these catching album videos is always the best. It's it's insane. NCD wants a seven regular English version. The music video was a flex. The lyrics are a flex. The song is a banger. It's addicting straight away. I'm definitely going to be putting this on loop after this. Oh my goodness. This song is so good. Every song today was so good. Limitless was a great opening with an insane chorus. Church was a very, you know, chill and funky type of dance song. Enjoyed the one. Chain, very heavy. That, that, that the young version between was insanity. And now here to wrap this up with the regular English version. Wow. NCT 1 to 7, one of my favorite boy groups in general. NCT in general, you know, but these boys especially. This lineup here was... Wow. Can't wait to check out reactions. So yeah. That's it for today's catching up on NCT 1 to 7. I had a lot of fun with it. I enjoyed it a lot. And I hope you enjoyed my reactions. If you did, let it a like down below to show me that you did. Which of the four songs we checked out today is your favorite? Tell me all about it down below in the comments as well. And as always, if you enjoy what I'm doing, if you want to support me, then you can gladly sub as well or support me on Patreon. It would help me a lot. We see each other again with the next catching up on um, NCT or slash um, the next part of the NCT November on Thursday. Where we go back to um, Baby. Then we also have regular, I think then the Chinese version slash maybe mixed up. I don't know. I have no idea honestly. But then we'll be checking out where we and three of their songs. And um, yeah, otherwise we have still a lot to go through. This was just the third of 11 NCT videos overall. We still have like much of that Baby. More NCT 1 to 7. A lot of NCT U. Then at the end of the month. The, the Black on Black and Resonance videos. So we have so much to look forward to. So for whatever content you may be interested in. For whatever content you may want to in for. Obviously again soon on this channel. Stay safe, healthy and happy. Have a great time. Have a great start into the week. And see you on Thursday. With the next part of the NCT November. Thanks for watching.